Oh, yes, it is coming right up, and I am excited. I know you are, too. Game of the week, Sunday night football, Dolphins, Eagles, AFC versus NFC, 5-1 and one versus 5-1. and one. And here's how you got to show your excitement. Type me in the comments. I want to see 500 me's in the comments because that's how the Dolphins are going to win against the Eagles on Sunday night football. All right, Dolphins trade targets. There's lots to get into with this. We're just a few weeks away from the trade deadline. And when you're 5-1, and one, high atop the AFC, it's okay to start thinking about who are some targets that you can identify and who are the potential blockbuster deals that are out there for the Dolphins to be buyers at the deadline. But I will level with you. I love this Dolphins team but perhaps Chris Greer will make some moves to make them even better. So at this point in the season, six games in, you feel good about the 5-1 and one record. Clearly the Dolphins are buyers at the trade deadline because it's fine. Because when you say Miami, we're talking Super Bowl, right? Everything necessary to make this Dolphins team a Super Bowl caliber team is what's on the table. So let's get it going. Do it right now. Free reign. Let's get creative. Name a player the Dolphins should trade for. I got a couple in mind. And if you've been scanning the NFL message boards as closely as I have, you know there's some potentially big names out there to make a blockbuster deal. So let me know in the comments. And this Dolphins team has proven they will make trades. Look at the roster, especially on defense, of impactful players. You see Bradley Chubb. He came over in a blockbuster deal. Of course, Jalen Ramsey. And remember, let's go over to offense. That guy, you know, he's on pace to break the NFL record for receiving yards. Oh, yeah, Tyreek Hill. He came over in a trade as well. So the Dolphins, no strangers to blockbuster trades. In fact, you could make the case that there are multiple core components of this Dolphins team that were acquired via the trade. So let me know in the comments who you think the Dolphins should trade for. Now, some trade targets Jack and I have identified for the Miami Dolphins. Let's start up front because I see it. I read the message boards. I read the comments. We got to get more pressure on the quarterback. We got to get more sacks, which is kind of crazy because the Dolphins are actually second in the National Football League in sacks, and they're also in the top 10 in quarterback hurries as well. But it's never a bad idea to beef up the defensive line because I firmly believe games, especially on the defensive end, can be won or lost with how much pressure you can get on the quarterback. So Leonard Williams, defensive end for the Giants. We know the direction of the season for the Giants, but Leonard Williams has been impressive so far in 2023. 18 tackles, half a sack, three hits on the quarterback. And although that Giants team has really struggled we know they are a bad football team. He has been a bright spot and would certainly be an asset for the Dolphins. So I've identified him as a potential player for the Dolphins to go after. He could use a fresh start within a new organization, just like Chase Claypool. You know, there's still uh, the, the book is still out on that trade, but that's a guy that has potential that the Dolphins are giving a fresh start to. So maybe Leonard Williams is that guy. Now, a guy that we saw on Sunday that was really shut down by this Dolphins offensive line and neutralized by an effective pass-blocking scheme was Brian Burns. Plays a little bit outside linebacker, a little bit of an edge rusher. He's a guy that can really make an impact for whatever team he's playing for. He's been good for Carolina, even though they're winless. And check out his first four years of his career. So not just this year, but he's proven it year after year. Burst onto the scene as a rookie in 2019, playing 16 games and had over seven sacks. Nine sacks in 2020. And I know there's more than just sacks, but anytime a player is registering that type of production with sacks, it certainly is noteworthy. Twelve and a half sacks a year ago. And so far this season, four sacks, ten pressures, and a forced fumble to go along with nine hits. So Brian Burns is going to make 
some team very, very happy, especially when you consider that Carolina is going to want to make some deals to try to regain some of that draft capital that they've given up over the last couple of years. So Brian Burns, a name to keep your eye out for if you're a Dolphins fan. He would give you an elite edge rusher to pair with Bradley Chubb, pair with Andrew Van Ginkle, also Jalen Phillips as long as he stays healthy. And then interior-wise, we know what Christian Wilkins can do, what Zach Zeller has done. Both of those guys have been so good in the last two games that I would love to see just one more asset added to the Dolphins' defensive line. So let me know. Pick a defensive end in the comments. It's real simple. LW for Leonard Williams. BB for Brian Burns. Who do you want to see the Dolphins make that blockbuster trade for to beef up that defensive line and continue to improve upon a pass rush that is already, already very, very good and give first-year defensive coordinator Vic Fangio another weapon at his disposal. Continuing on with our trade talk, how about Garrett Bowles? I've identified him as a target for the Dolphins, an offensive lineman, and it's so funny to see in the comments it seems to be split 50-50, and I don't have the exact data for you, but half the people in the comments will yell and scream, ah, oh, Garrett Bowles is washed up, and the other half will say, yeah, we need an offensive lineman. So Garrett Bowles seems to be among one of the offensive linemen that's being talked about as someone that could move. Obviously, the Broncos season is spiraling downward and fast. The Sean Payton experiment has not worked out there. And when you consider the Dolphins' offensive line depth chart, when healthy, it's very, very good. It just hasn't been healthy. And even though they all they have been missing some guys, everybody on the offensive line has really stepped in admirably aside from the one game against Buffalo. But Bowles is a veteran guy that could bring some value to your offensive line. He's due $14 million this year. It's a steep price. I get that. Totally get that. But the offensive line market just really isn't that plentiful is probably a good way to put it. There's not a lot of potential offensive linemen for the Dolphins to go at. So those in the comments, I know you want to get at me. We've seen this before. We know Garrett Bowles. But really, he is the name that continues to pop up in these trade rumors. One sack allowed, only one hit allowed, pressures allowed at 10, and an overall blocking grade at that 61.9 for Garrett Bowles. So I'm not saying he's the answer, but I read those comments. I know you guys want an offensive lineman brought to Miami. Garrett Bowles is the potential for Miami to target. Now, speaking of target, I always target the Dolphins when it comes to prize picks because they make it easy, baby. Prize picks, what's that, Jake? I'm so glad you asked. They're a proud sponsor of today's episode of Dolphins Today. But most notably, it is is the most an exciting, easy and exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. I play it every Sunday with the Dolphins. I got burned on Monday Night Football. I won't lie to you guys, but it's real simple. You simply pick more or less in a player's projected stats, and you see if you're right. So with Tyreek Hill, he's projected 0.5 pass rush receiving touchdowns combined. So either pick more or less. If you think he's going to stay out of the end zone, you'd pick less. If you think he's going to get into the end zone like I do, I'm picking more. Now, Jalen Waddle, I think he's due a breakout game, so I've picked more on his projected stat total of 64 and a half receiving yards. So it's that simple. You're not playing in some big survivor pool. It's not against a bunch of experts. You don't need a bunch of complicated spreadsheets. You're simply picking more or less against the projected stat total for a player. And for being a Dolphins fan, you know the drill. We've got a special deal for you at prizepicks.com slash CLNS, prizepicks.com slash CLNS for a $100 deposit match. That's right. Let me just say that again. You know, just in case, oh, it's an ad. I'm tuning out. Don't worry. prizepicks.com slash CLNS for a $100 deposit match. And just in case you didn't hear me, we've got the link in the comments and the description of today's video. So prizepicks.com slash CLNS for a $100 deposit match. Prize picks, easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Now more trade talk for the Dolphins and players for the Dolphins to target. 
Perhaps a tight end could be of use for, for Frank Smith and Mike McDaniel on the offensive side. Hunter Henry in New England might be a guy that's going to get dealt because we know the Patriots are abysmal. They're brutal. We'll see him in a couple of weeks. And Hunter Henry is eh, not having his best season, perhaps, but is a guy that can add value to the roster. 183 yards receiving with the two touchdowns, averaging better than 10 yards a catch. And I, I like Durham Smythe. I really, really do. And Julian Campbell stepped in, stepped in and been a good blocking tight end. We haven't really seen, I'm sorry, Julian Hill, who went to Campbell, has been a good blocking tight end. A little trivia question for you. Do you know Julian Hill is the only NFL player from Campbell? Wild. That's why I had Campbell in my mind. So I do apologize for that. Croft has been a scratch the last couple of weeks, but Durham Smythe has been far and away the number one tight end. So Hunter Henry, a guy that you could add to that tight end depth chart. I don't know how aggressive the Dolphins will be with targeting a tight end, but something to just kind of store in your memory bank. Now, one that we visited a couple weeks ago after the Dolphins waxed the Broncos 70 to 20, and Patrick Sertan's dad tweeted out that he is just wasting away his talent in Denver. We talked about the possibility of bringing Pat Sertan to the Miami Dolphins. He is probably the most coveted defensive player on the trade block at this day and time. 143 tackles, three tackles for loss, but check it out. Seven interceptions, 30 pass breaks up, breakups in his career, and he's so young, too. And I believe the asking price is going to be pretty high for Pat Sertan, but it might be worth it. And you pair him with Jalen Ramsey, look out, that'd be arguably, on paper, the best secondary. And we've talked a lot about the secondary and I don't want to shortchange Xavier Howard because I think he's been really good. Cater Kohu's been really good. We haven't really seen a lot from Cam Smith, so we don't really know. Justin Bessel, it's been all right. You saw Perry Nicholson back in the lineup on Sunday against the Panthers. So there are a lot of guys there. And anytime we start talking trade talks, I don't want that to take away from the guys that are already suiting up in the Aqua and Orange. But if you have Super Bowl aspirations like the Dolphins do, it's okay to start experimenting with the potential idea of bringing in a blockbuster game-changing corner. So sound off for me in the comments. This is your green light to have creative freedom. Whoever you want the Dolphins to go after, let me know in the comments. So we've identified some trade targets for you to kind of mull over, chew up a little bit. For now, I want to know from you who you want the Dolphins to go to. We've got a couple of more to add to it. How about Jalen Johnson playing cornerback for the Chicago Bears? The Bears have been terrible absolutely abysmal. And you know what? I feel bad for Bears fans because it seems like they deal with that a lot. But they are a team that obviously has nothing left to play for this season. The season's over. So you might as well make some trades. And Jalen Johnson's a guy that could step in right away and have an immediate impact. Look at his 2023 coverage stats. Holding receivers to 52.9 percentage on the completion percentage, 89 yards, and a guy that hasn't registered a lot of numbers because sometimes quarterbacks will just throw away from them. And luckily for us at Dolphins today, we've got our very own Harrison Graham, the host of the Bears Report on Chat Sports. And he's a guy that you can talk to and pick his brain about what the Bears might be doing. He's got his, he's got his finger on the pulse. And I ask him, what do you think the Bears might do with Jalen Johnson? Quote, I would keep Jalen Johnson on the team but I wouldn't be surprised if the Bears decide to move them. So that's from our very own Harrison Graham. And just one more thing to keep in mind. So I'm going to ask you, pick a trade target. We've discussed a number of different options for the Dolphins. Leonard Williams, I want you to type one. Brian Burns, go ahead and hit number two in the chat. Offensive lineman Garrett Bowles, type three. Hunter Henry is your guy, then type number four. If Pat Sertain is the guy you want, type a five. And if it's Jalen Johnson from the Bears, shoot that number six in 
the comments. Let me know. And that's what makes this fun. We're discussing wh who and why the Dolphins might make a move to continue to be Super Bowl contenders. Now, I want to ask you who the Dolphins should trade for. We've done it. Let me know in the comments. That's what makes it fun. Trade talk heating up on Dolphins today. The deadline is right around the corner. So don't waste any more time. Let me know in the comments who the Dolphins should trade for.